What's up guys, it's your boy Josh, back in the Yardy Belly Kitchen, and today I'm going to be cooking something else. Um, Today, I'm going to be cooking jambalaya. This is my first time ever cooking, like, I know how to cook rice, but this is my first time, like, ever cooking, like, like, jambalaya, like, as itself. So, we have, um, actually, let me flip the camera, but this is my first time cooking jambalaya, so just stay tuned and let's get into it okay so this is what we're going to be cooking um louisiana fish fry products cajun jambalaya and like entree mix um yeah and it says bring the taste of louisiana home so this is what we're going to be making and we also have some smoked sausage here to put into it and onions like an onion for now, that's what we have, but I'll, I'll, I'll like watch the video and if they have more stuff, then I'll put more. Okay, so I added my measuring cup and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up this smoked sausage to put into the jambalaya. And this sausage is from Parkview Beef Smoked Sausage. See, this is it. It looks very smoky, very smoked sausage like. And we have our chef's knife here, but this is not the one I'm going to use actually. We have a chef's knife here. This might not be the best one, but I'm going to move the camera closer. So I'm just gonna cut this into like, like smoky pieces, I guess. I don't know if this is too big or water, but I'm just gonna cut it. Okay, so I finished cutting up all my sausage and I cut up the little onion. Well, we I am one onion, but. For some reason, the video I'm watching, the dude didn't put that much, like he didn't put any onion because it's supposedly in this um, container. So let's see, I'm just going to open it and let's see what's in this, this Cajun Jambalaya mix. Okay, okay. So we got, okay, I guess this is it. We got, um, we got our rice here, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Wait, did I cut up too much sausage? I think I cut up. I expected it to be more rice. Whatever, it's fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. I'm not gonna use all the sausage though. So this is it, and I'm gonna show you guys what to do next. Guys, so I decided to switch the video because it seemed like that dude did not know what he was doing, but anyway, I cut up some more onions, and what I'm gonna do now is put some olive oil and butter into the pot, into the pot we have here, and sear up the sausage. Guys, so we're just gonna put some butter in this pot to this butter is for like the searing of like the sausage um they said two teaspoons but i don't i don't really i don't, I don't know two tablespoons but yeah i'm just put a little more because you know i don't even know what i'm really doing here but you know you live and you learn right how hard can it be so that's what we put with the butter and here we have some oil. The, the lady also put oil. So I'm just gonna add a little oil. Uh, yep. 
I'm not even sure if this is the right size pot, but bro, well, I literally uh, this is probably so wrong right now to be honest. Let me turn it up a little because I don't even hear it doing anything. But we're going to add our onions next, guys. Let me show you guys inside the pot right there. Looking pretty. Look, it's just looking like like butter and oil, but yeah, that's what it is. I feel like I should put more oil a little more. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm gonna do. That lady's pot was like full of oil. I don't know if this is right. But, okay, starting to get something. I'll come back to you when I'm putting in the onions. Okay, so we have our butter and oil together. Looks like that, so I'm just gonna throw in the onions now, to be honest. Yeah. We're just gonna let that cook, cook, cook it up. Let me put all of it. I was gonna save some, but I don't even know why I would save any. What I heard, you just do this. Like, this is what you should be doing. Um, I think I'm doing it wrong, like so wrong. But you know, so you just sear this up, and then we're gonna throw in our sausage at like handfuls at a time. And I'm not gonna use all the sausage because it looks like the rice is very like little. Well, it's not even that much sausage out of the middle of it. So we got our sausage in. Looks pretty good, smells pretty good so far. And this, bro, I've never, like, I'm not even close to a chef at all. I'm just here cooking. Alright guys, check back on y'all when it's seared and good. Alright guys, so we seared it pretty well, so now we're going to just throw in our two and a half cups of water. Apparently, that's what the guy said. Yeah, and we throw in our two and a half cups of water. And then we just dump in our rice. Um, right now it looks pretty bad, not gonna lie. But it's all about the end game, right? So, okay. This is our bag. This is our bag here. We're just gonna throw it in. Some of it is jammed in. Yeah, so we just put it in that and it's gonna come to a bowl. A rolling bowl. This is how it looks after a few minutes boiling and I turned the stove down because you're supposed to turn it, like you're not supposed to leave it on high. But it looks pretty normal, I think. Um, it's just supposed to thicken now and then you serve it, I think. So yeah. Okay guys, so we finished the jambalaya and we plated it. And as you can see here, it looks pretty good. And I tasted it and it tastes, it tastes pretty decent. Like I, have, I don't know how it's supposed to taste, but I garnished it with some scallions. And on the side we have cucumbers and tomatoes and you can also eat this with well you can just add more like meat if you want I only put sausage but you can add like shrimp and chicken 
and you can eat it with, I don't know, like bread or crackers or whatever. So, this is how it looks. I think it looks pretty good for like a beginner and I never even tasted this before. But, yeah. All right guys, so that was yours truly, Josh's homemade Cajun style. First time ever trying um, jambalaya rice with sausage. Um, so also remember to like, share, comment down below what you want me to try next. And subscribe to Yardy Belly TV for more amazing cooking content. And remember to keep checking out Josh the Real. Josh the food lover. And yeah, comment down below. 